these proof concept. All right, that's what we use these for. So the first job is always to make sure that you've got a short. And these do. No, it's to make sure you've got a short things. So the way to know that you've got a short is just use the tone ohm like a normal multimeter beep mode. You put them together and they make a noise. Like a tone ohm would make a noise. Like a like a multimeter would make a noise. So what you could do on the board, on your customer's board, in this case the demo board, you work out where you've got your short. Yeah? So this in this particular case, I've got a short between VCC here and ground here. Yeah? There's no short anywhere else. So this is ground, the black is brown, and these... Well, I, I, yeah, I mean, it's difficult to say on this board which is BCC and ground, but what you've got here is if you look at the board, you've got a square pad, oh, yeah, which, yeah, is, which goes to a plane, and these caps go across the plane. So it doesn't really matter which is VCC and which is ground, but it's going from one to the other. I see. All right? Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and find this plane-to-plane -plane short. Now, how many planes are here? There's only two planes on here, and we've got a plane to plane short somewhere on this board. All right? Mm -hmm. um, the. What we, ha what we have to do is try and prove that there is a, uh, a, a way of measuring these shorts. So, there isn't really any other way that I'm aware of other than. The tone, the tone 950 of delivering plane to plane, track to plane, or ground to plane shorts. So the cheaper models is what I'm trying to say. The cheaper models don't have, don't have this. Don't have this. So what we do here is we place these cables onto this board, onto each corner of the plane. So. What I do is I, I, I make a clip onto the corner. Now, what is important is that you get the geography of these correct. What I mean by the geography is the blue one goes to the top. These, these are in the correct order. Oh. The reason for the colours is these are in the correct order and they need to reflect the order on the board. So blue is top left, red is top right. Green is bottom left. Yellow. And yellow. Actually, I'm just going to do just one second. Just put them on the other side of the plane. It doesn't matter which of the plane, if it's plane to plane, it doesn't matter whether you put these on the VCC side or whether you put them on the ground side. You just have to know which, you do, which you're putting them on. So, first things first, we have a little test to make sure that all those four points are connected to the same test. And what you do is you move that from active, from standby into active. So if that stays green, that means they're all connected to the same plane. If I take one of these off, that drops down to standby. Yeah? And by the same plane, are we talking about the top layer? No, we're talking about, in this case, the, the ground plane. Oh, the ground plane, okay. So then we take this other probe and we probe that to the other side of the board. Which one's that one? So, the, uh, so, this is, so if these are going on the ground plane, mm -hmm. this, pr this probe here is going to the other side of the short. Okay? okay. So this is coming oh, up here. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh. And this is where you get in a bit of a mess, or you can get in a bit of a mess with your cables. So just ignore that for a minute. Let me just sort the cables out. Right. So. Now what we do is we then start to probe the 
side of the the side of that we've that we've put these ground planes on. All right, we start we start to probe this. So and we follow the arrow. So I've put the probe down and it tells me the arrow, the red arrow tells me to go that way. You see that? Yeah. So I go that way. And the red arrow tells me to go that way again, but you notice the tone's got higher. So the cl the higher the tone, the closer I am to the short. And we just follow the arrows. And then once you get close, you can turn the drive source down and it becomes slightly more accurate. And then you get right onto the short. So the short is here where these two, is, is in that little region there between, and there's only those two points it can be. I'm going to try another goal. So that's so that's not as good a short as that's where the short is. Okay. All right. So if I start over here, it it will take me to the same place. All you're doing is following the arrows. Easy. So it doesn't matter where you start. The short is always going to take you to the same place. All right. Yeah. So that's it's just a setup. Now, obviously, when you've got a customer's board, you don't know where to put the things. It's a little bit diff more difficult because you've got to get data and you've got to work with a customer to get data to know where the corners of the board are, where the plane comes up to the to the corners of the board, and where to then probe when you get on it. So it all becomes a little bit more complicated when you get a customer's board. Now, it's not none of it's impossible, but you need the customer to be working with you at that point. And if you haven't proved concept first, it's difficult to get the customer to. So irrespective of whether the customer says, fix that board, you need to be able to prove concept to the customer because that says to the customer, actually, this is worth experimenting with and trying. Because the customer will sit there and go, I've never seen anything like that before. So, okay. all right. So that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Thank you for watching and if you'd like more information then please do contact your local polar office and you can find the details on the following screen.